Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, back at it again with another brilliant episode of shit that just makes me want to fucking die. Hey guys, yeah, so we're back with another episode. Uh, let's sit down. Um, today, I gotta thank my mom for today's content because, uh, you know what? A lot of this stuff that is what I'm reacting to now is TV shows that she watches. So, Mom, if you're watching this, um, sorry for ripping on your TV shows, but they just seem funny to me. <laughs> sorry, I'm actually genuinely sorry, Mom. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, guys, girls, have you ever wanted just to find the one? You know, just have you ever just wanted to just meet someone? from an area you've never visited and then just go on and have a relationship and marry that person? Well, today's sit-down episode can help you with that. And actually, that leads us on to... Uh, that leads us on very nicely to our sponsor for today's video. Uh, yeah, so guys, Fish for Hose is a brilliant website where you can meet your long-lost so- I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I, we're not affiliated with that at all. Stop. Don't call the police. Just cancel it. Stop. <laughs> Why did I make that joke? <laughs> Fuck, dude. But, uh, yeah, so the, the thing we're gonna be reacting to today is 90 Day Fiance. If you don't know what this is, uh, I don't know how you can't know what it is. Fucking title. I mean, what, what could it be? I mean, pfft. well, guess what? If you don't know what it is, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to help you. I don't know, you don't know. We're gonna learn together, we're gonna learn, because I got the definition. It's not, okay, it's not a definition, it's a description. Yeah, description, that's what, it's not a definition, description of 90 Day Fiance, let's just jump straight into this. Boom, watching, here we go. 90 Day Fiance is an American document. I'm gonna say it's a drama series, not a documentary series, because there are good documentaries out there that would be sickened to have this be classified as a documentary, so, gotcha, homies. Uh, yeah, so 90 Day Fiancé is an American drama series on TLC that follows couples who have applied for to receive a K-1 visa available uniquely to foreign fiancés of American citizens and therefore have 90 days to decide to marry before the visas of the foreign half of the couple expire and they must leave the United States. Pretty bloody simple! You'd think, wouldn't you? Pretty bloody simple, but... <laughs> Let me tell you folks, TLC, they have a little spin to throw you because guess what? The perfect marriage, the perfect scenario, 90 days to plan your whole wedding and just be stressed, pushed into it? <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, in case you didn't know, TLC throw a little curveball and they actually, there actually is a lot of drama in this apparently. So you know what? I don't know why I'm talking like this, but yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. But here's the thing I was thinking. like. This is technically male ordering a bride <laughs> or a groom. This is what this is. <laughs> you li well, yeah, it is and it isn't. I suppose. I mean, they are couples beforehand, allegedly, but like. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking at a couple of clips from this show because this show is fucking amazing, as you can probably tell. So, the first thing I'm gonna look at is uh, where, 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 where am I looking? <clears throat> Probably should have, should have planned this better. So the clip I'm gonna be reacting to first is, um... <laughs> God, oh, Lord. Christian couple saving themselves for marriage. 90 Day Fiance. So, uh... Yeah. So yeah, let's, uh, let's find out if saving yourself for marriage really is the truth. That is the way to go. Anyway. My fiance is David, and he's 27 years old. He's about 8 years older than me. Hold up, Chief. <laughs> Hold up a minute. She looks very young. Like, very, very young. 
And she just said her fiance is eight years older than her. Is there anything that like, says how old she is? Oh, Evelyn 80. Jesus. 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 She's 18 years old. And this guy's 27. Actually, wait, hold on. Hold on. She's eight years older. Where's me? Damn it! Where's the oh it's right, it's right here. Let's work this out together. 27 minus 18 equal... Man, I knew it. I knew it. These hoes ain't loyal, man. talk though this is fucked this is genuinely fucked why imagine her parents when she said uh, oh yeah guys I, I've got a boyfriend wow honey that's great which school does he go to oh he doesn't he doesn't go to school he's actually 27 and is from a foreign country Guess we gotta teach you the Lord's love a different way, honey! This is... this is nuts. This is fucking nuts. I don't even want to watch this one anymore. This is fucked. 18 and 27. This bitch is getting married at 18! What the fuck? Let's keep going. See you. David is definitely the first man that I've ever been in love with. I've had relationships where I thought I felt love, but it now being in love, I know that this is crazy. This is something. Oh my god, boys. I just broke a fucking rosary bead. The first boy she's ever felt love with. And the reason you feel love before you thought you felt love before was because you're young. You're 18. And you are the literal living embodiment of 16 year olds who post stuff on Instagram or Facebook being like, oh, I'm gonna marry my boyfriend one day. Oh, I can't wait to have my boyfriend's kids. <laughs> you are the living embodiment of someone that fucking naive and stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know she's only a girl. She's only 18. I'm sorry. But this bitch, hella dumb, homie. You dumb. <laughs> Bro, you're so fucking dumb. Fuck, dude. Damn. Also, real talk, I'm kind of upset about breaking the the thing, by the way, just, yeah, <laughs> that's not good, man. We started the K-1 visa application, and David is arriving today. Evelyn, let's go. All right. Ready? All right, let's go. All right, let's do this. We're definitely going to be like, I'm starting to panic. This plane lands at 4.45, it's about 4.45, so. <laughs> Almost there. Brilliant help. He just texted me. He just texted me. What? He said, hey, I'm landing. Are you already at the airport? He's here. I'm sorry, but this is wrong on so many fucking levels. Ah. Oh, this feels like... Do you know when you go to, like... 
I don't know why, but Amigo is the first one that comes into my head where you have Amigo and you're chatting to someone and you don't know who it is and you think it's a fucking, it's an 18 year old boy or a 19 year old boy and it turns out to be a 27 year old man who's from a different country and is now meeting you at the airport because you want to marry him because you think he's an 18 year old boy. This is that situation in real fucking life. He said this time there's fucking cameras. I wouldn't be surprised if this turns into an episode of Catch the Fucking Pedo. <laughs> He kind of has to wait for us anyway, right? Yeah, it's not like he's he's going anywhere. Oh my goodness, this is real life. This is happening. It's all starting to feel so real. David's not just coming to visit, he's coming to live with me forever. God, this poor girl. She really doesn't know what she's done, does she? She actually doesn't know what's gonna happen. She's... Even just look... Oh my god, that... <laughs> oh, the frame I just stopped it on. Oh, this bitch is psychopath, man. Don't even at me. This girl... This girl looks like she's got a shotgun or a gun pointed at her, and she's like, you're gonna fucking get married, homie. I swear to God, we're gonna get you a husband. We're gonna get you a couple of cows for your ass, homie. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking get your ass a husband, girl. God damn it. That is that situation. Bring on the 90 days. As long as David's here with me, I'm ready. I think it's downstairs, actually. Well, how do we get down there? <laughs> okay, I don't know where we are. Now I'm for extra project. You don't know where you are because you're young. You're too young to know your way. Well, actually, no, that's not true. 18-year-olds do go around all the time traveling. But, like, this is... Uh, this. You just look so frazzled. There's so much stress. She hasn't even started planning the wedding yet. Imagine what she's going to be like in fucking two days' time when they have to fucking talk about, like, venues. Traditions, all that kind of shit, you know? Like fuck me, this is the show is so fucking stupid. Where are we? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, back, back just a little bit. All right. all right. Arrivals, arrivals. They come out this door. The one that is so marked arrivals. Yes, that's how it works. Really? Oh, this the whole visit process has just been so stressful. But we've waited and prayed. But we've waited and prayed. And today is just like a And today is just like a culmination of everything. I feel like everybody's meeting their person except me. I do have soon, I'm sure. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, this is so stupid, but I don't know why. I find it so funny, the cameraman just running around them in a certain... Like, literally, he's just been told to... He's like, yeah, we need, a, we need a real shot of them when they come in. We need you to just fucking make sure you get every angle of this shit. This is going to be fucking beautiful. Happiest moment of their life. Get every fucking angle of it. Right, I got you, boss. I got you, homie. On a real though, this is this is hella sweet. This is actually nice. This is cute. But there's also that factor. There is almost a ten year difference between these two. This girl is either in college or just finishing up in school. If she was in Ireland first, if she was Irish, she would have just finished her final year in secondary school or high school or just doing it. Like, I don't know why, but maybe that's why it's so fucked up to me. Um, I don't think I want to see any more of this because honestly, a little bit uncomfortable. 
So we're gonna we're gonna find a new episode or new clip, and we're gonna react to that as well. We might do one more, and then we're gonna call it quits because this shit has been, <laughs> this shit has just been fucking stupid, homie. I am so fucking done with this. Right. So, boys and girls, you're probably wondering why is there no more clips or why the video is ending so abruptly. That's mainly because if I had kept these clips in, this video would actually have been about 40 minutes to an hour. And frankly, <laughs> I, I know my audience, they're not going to sit through an hour of content. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to leave y'all on a bit of a cliffhanger. If this video gets 20, yes, 25, count it, two, two five likes, I will release part two. And in part two, it's the it it's such a crazy while it, it it really isn't it's it's just the same but it's so it it's it honestly it's worth the like so if you want to see that leave a like down below subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you hopefully in part two I'll I'll, I'll see you then.